Good morning everyone, hope you're all doing well. I've had to wake up fairly early this morning, like, well, not like early early, but about 8, because I have a doctor's appointment again this morning, so I'm about to head off there in about 5 minutes or so, because, yeah, my appointment's at quarter past 9, so yeah, I need to get there for that. Besides that, I haven't really got much else planned today. My hair, I have just left, cra it was crazy this morning after going to sleep with it still a little bit damp after washing it yesterday. So I've just French applied it all out the way so that you can't really tell it's too crazy. And yeah, I'm just going to get all my stuff together and then get on my way to the doctors. I also can't eat breakfast this morning, which is so annoying because I'm having this test that I just can't eat breakfast beforehand. So yes, and breakfast is like my favourite meal of the day and I'm feeling a bit hungry so I'm kind of like hmm but it's alright at least my appointment's like fairly early so I can come back and have breakfast once I am back home from the doctors I finished at the doctor so I'm just going to quickly pop to the supermarket to try and get some mouthwash I really need some um excuse me I've made it back home already just got the dogs out and they've got hold of a shoe no bobby drop so yeah i've made it back in from the doctor's managed to pick up some mouthwash at the shopping at the supermarket there was literally a supermarket right pretty much next door to the doctor's so that was good because i ran out last night and i was like i need some more so managed to get some more of that that's good i can finally have some breakfast although right now it feels like when i'm coming home from the gym it should be like lunch time by now but it's what time is it? it's quarter to 11 so i'm gonna finally get some breakfast which i am actually very excited for oh i just need to change the dog's water though first i'm gonna quickly do that for breakfast i think i'm gonna have one of the yogurts that i bought yesterday one of the soya yogurts and then also some like granola and blueberries is kind of what i'm feeling like having there we go there's my breakfast already i'm literally so hungry now as well so i can't wait to eat this i'm sure that's on camera that looks like it's a morning blueberry it's actually a blueberry and there's a raisin on top of it the blueberry underneath was completely fine i managed to finally get the video that i was editing yesterday all uploaded and sorted and get all the links and stuff sorted for that so that's all up and scheduled ready for sunday this weekend when i'm away so that's good there'll definitely still be a video don't you worry even though i will be in london and yeah i've also just now managed to get the vlog from yesterday edited and uploaded but it's currently in the process of uploading it's on 94 percent, so that's almost there i'm just waiting for that to finish i might actually make this is just so random. I might make a chocolate mousse now. I don't know why, but my dad keeps asking me to make one and he's really wanting one. I've never made one before, never tried it. All I do know though is that it involves egg whites and a lot of whisking. So, not really looking too forward to that. But at the same time, I do like like making things. Like baking, it's not really baking this, you're not baking it. But pretty much is baking in a way just without putting it in the oven so it's not really baking but the same like process of making it kind of thing so i might give that a go i don't know i will see i'll just wait for this vlog to finish edit um not editing uploading i might attempt it i'll check that we've got all the ingredients first as well yeah how are you two waking up oh your knee chops join your lunch join your lunch <laughs> bless them they're just waking up <laughs> I love it when they first wake up and they're like half asleep still. I think they're wanting their lunch. It is their lunch time to be fair. What time is it? Yeah, they're a little bit late actually, but they slept through when their lunch time should be. We have this massive bag of food here, but believe it or not, it's already pretty much gone. The food's like down to here now already. I don't even know if you saw that. Yeah, like literally right down to where the orange is pretty much. So that's when parents went to get more yesterday. But yeah, we've got through this bag. I mean, it's supposed to last 60 days and it's lasted about a month or so. And there's two of them having it, so yeah, that's about that's about right. But can we get them some food now? Cause they're looking, they're looking like they're wanting some lunch. Come on, then. 
are there, but it's happy now. <laughs> they always just eat it down so quickly. Now that they're happy with their lunch, I'm gonna try and give this chocolate mousse a go. The recipe that I've found that I'm gonna try and use is one on the BBC Good Food website. I'll try and leave a link down below to the one that I went for. And also this one looks quite good because it only uses two eggs, I believe, whereas a lot of them use so many different eggs. Like, you can use up to like seven eggs in some recipes. This one uses, yeah, only two egg whites, which is the fewest I've seen so far and looks quite straightforward. In terms of ingredients, you need 85 grams of dark chocolate, that's 70%. One tablespoon of cocoa powder. Then you can also add half a teaspoon of coffee granules and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. But I don't have any coffee granules or vanilla extract, so I'm just going to leave those out and just do it as like a pure chocolate one, not have any coffee flavour. And then two egg whites, one tablespoon golden caster sugar, and 50 grams of full fat Greek yoghurt. And then if you want as well, you can add a handful of raspberries to decorate. So let's give this a go. Let's see what we need to do first. We need to actually, let me actually grab all the ingredients that I need. That could be a good start. I feel like this is either going to turn out really well or be a complete disaster. I have never tried anything like this before, so hopefully it will work out well. I'm sure quickly, the dogs have already finished their lunch. I'm sure quickly clean their bowls out and remove those before Bailey starts shagging them off as he usually does. Then get into making this chocolate mousse. Okay, I'm back. And don't worry, I have washed my hands since washing out the dogs' bowls. The first thing to do is chop the chocolate very finely and put it into a large bowl. So, I have got, the chocolate I'm going to use is the Lint chocolate, and yeah, I need to get chopping in this. I probably should have got it out of the fridge a bit sooner so that it would have actually, like, been a bit softer and easier to chop, but oh well, how much do I need? 85 grams, right, let me just wear 85 grams of this first. Right, so that's my 85 grams of chocolate. I'm going to try and attempt to actually chop this up, and it says very finely, which means it has to be in very small pieces. That was actually a lot easier to do than I thought it was. The lint chocolate's good because it has like lines on it, so it helps you just to like break it up into like quite small pieces, which is good. So that worked out fairly well. Next, I need to add, what did it say? I think it was the cocoa powder. Let me check. It says mix the cocoa, coffee, and vanilla with two tablespoons of cold water and pour over the chocolate. The cocoa, I'm leaving out the coffee and the vanilla though, so. I will just, I think I'll mix the cocoa with one tablespoon of cold water instead, so that should hopefully be like the right kind of proportions. And yeah, it's one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Okay, let me add that now. Just going to mix that quickly with some water in a separate bowl. I love the smell of this powder. It just, the cocoa powder honestly just smells incredible. Actually, this is cacao powder, but... It's pretty much, you can kind of pretty much use them interchangeably, but it honestly just smells so amazing. I just imagine that's what a chocolate factory would smell like. It's not like fully mixed yet, but that just looks so good. Oh, it smells, it smells incredible as well. Okay, right, it then says to pour that over the chocolate, so I will do that now. I think this has gone a little bit too thick, so I might just add a little bit more water to it. There we go, that looks better. That looks more like I can pour it now. I've just had to go and rescue a slipper and a trainer off of the puppies. They've suddenly got a massive interest in the shoe rack, which they weren't too bothered about before. They'd get the odd shoe now and again, but now suddenly it's become their new fave thing. But oh well, I've mixed in, yeah, the chocolate and I, uh, yeah, I added the water and cocoa powder to the chocolate, which I'm now gonna put, I've boiled some water in the kettle and I've now put it in a saucepan on the heat on the hob and I'm just gonna put this bowl above it for a bit. It says to do that and give everything a stir. Let me just double check what it says. It says, uh, place the bowl over the gently simmering water, give it a stir, then remove from the heat, but leave the bowl of chocolate still over the water, still stirring to check when melted. Oh, okay. So I'm going to put this over that, literally just give it a stir and then leave it over the simmering water, but off the heat, if that makes sense. Okay, I've given that all a stir and I've just left it on top of the saucepan with the hot water in it, but I've turned the heat off now. So I'm going to leave that over there, stirring it occasionally. I think that's what the recipe said. Um, yeah, stir the melted chocolate. It will be quite thick. Okay, so you keep stirring it until it's melted, basically. And then stir in two tablespoons of boiling water and the chocolate will immediately thin down and become silky and smooth. 
and you leave to cool slightly okay so I'll keep stirring that but in the meantime while I'm waiting for that to be melted it says to whisk the two egg whites to fairly soft peaks and then whisk in the sugar until thick and glossy okay let's try and separate these eggs gonna try and do this I always go for cracking the egg in half and then separating the, oh, there's a little bit of shell there, but it's all good, I've managed to fish it out. Then separating the yolk from the egg by, like, I can't actually, it's not quite on camera, by sort of swapping it between the two halves of the eggshell, if that makes sense. But yeah, by just basically cracking it in, oh, my camera needs to just be slightly angled. Hang on, I'll angle it for the second one, one sec. Chocolate's getting there, it's more or less melted now. But yeah, hang on, let me just angle it this way so hopefully now you'll be able to see me. But when I'm separating out the egg whites, I like to just crack the egg like that on the side of the bowl and then split it in half and then just swap the yolk between the two halves of the shell so that all the egg whites can then fall into the bowl, if that makes sense. <laughs> The bit I'm not looking forward to is the whisking, because that is always great arm work. Although it says until they form soft peaks, which is less whisking involved than when you're making the meringue where it has to be stiff peaks. Okay, that's the chocolate like pretty much melted. I see what it means about it being very thick. It's sort of like, it reminds me of like a Nutella kind of paste texture right now. So yeah, it is very thick. So. I just need to double check what it said, but I think it said to add two tablespoons of boiling water. I'm just going to check that quickly. Um, stir the melted chocolate, it will be quite thick. Yeah, definitely. Stir in two tablespoons of boiling water and the chocolate will immediately thin down and become silky smooth. Leave to cool slightly. Okay, so I don't know what that means. I have to then take it off the pan with the boiling water in it. I guess I do leave to cool slightly but the egg whites will take me a little while to whisk probably so hmm. i'm gonna add the two tablespoons of water of boiling water mix that in and then and then maybe leave it a little bit longer just on the saucepan without like the heat and then take it off to cool a little bit once i've started whisking the egg whites i think is what i'll try and do i've just added the two tablespoons of boiling water to the melted chocolate and it hasn't seemed to go smooth, silky smooth, so I think I might try adding a little bit more water and see if that helps. Okay, that has helped it to smooth a little bit, but I still wouldn't say it's looking um, silky smooth. But I think I'm just going to leave it like that to cool slightly while I carry on whisking the egg whites. I just started a bit, but I haven't got far yet. I've forgotten what hard work it is to whisk the egg whites. I normally ever have only done it before when I'm making meringues. That's the only thing that I've ever really had to whisk egg whites for and it is a lot of work. I think I've managed to whisk the egg whites to a soft peak. I'm pretty sure this is what you could call a soft, a soft peak. It's definitely a good, oh my, there we go. Wait, hang on. See, look, there we go. It's got a peak. So I think that is that. Now I think the next thing that I've got to do is whisk in the sugar. I can't remember how much sugar there was need to check that one tablespoon of sugar okay so i'm gonna whisk in one tablespoon of sugar now so it said to whisk in the sugar until it was thick and glossy which i would say that is now so i'm gonna leave that there i've <laughs> had um quite a good arm work out there trying to get that whisk uh what was it next i think it was the yogurt that i had to sort out next um it said beat the yogurt into the cooled chocolate okay and i believe it was 50 grams of chocolate uh chocolate of yogurt yeah it was 50 grams of full fat greek yogurt which i have got here i need to get 50 grams out though because this i think is 125 i want to say in here so i need to get 50 grams out of here well adding in the yogurt has definitely helped to make the chocolate look a lot smoother and nicer again so that's looking good now. I was kind of worried about the chocolate, but it's looking it's looking a lot better than it was. I think now it's I've got to add in some of the egg. Fold about one third of the egg whites into the chocolate mix using a large metal spoon. Well, this is I've got a large metal spoon here, so I need to add about a third of that into there. And then gently fold in the rest of the whites until they're evenly mixed in. Be careful not to overmix or you will lose the volume of the mousse. Okay. That is all the egg whites now mixed in to the chocolate mixture 
Now I'm gonna try and find some like dessert glasses to put them in. I don't know. I found like these three at the top though. These might do. I don't know like how much, whether I'll need another one. Cause I mean, it's supposed to serve four, but these might be bigger than what they've got. I'm gonna try and reach those. I have to like go on my tiptoes, try and get them though. That was like the perfect number of glasses to have. There's like one that's a bit smaller, but that's fine. Like she used up the rest. It's literally my daddy wants it anyway. I'm not so sure how I feel about like eating raw egg it's something that i don't ever really like so i might not be eating this the recipe was actually quite straightforward and fairly simple to follow i mean it will all be in the taste i hope my dad appreciates it the effort that i put in but yeah that wasn't too bad so hopefully it actually tastes decent too but i'm gonna put these in the fridge and add set it says to leave them a couple of hours or overnight i'll leave them in the fridge now what time is it? it's like half two now so then yeah by the time he gets home they'll be set and he can he can try one hopefully it'll taste as good as it seems to have turned out. Now that I've cleaned all of that away, I'm gonna actually get myself some lunch because it's already now 25 to three. So I'm starting to feel quite hungry. I had like a later breakfast today, like I had breakfast at half 11. So that's why I wasn't as hungry earlier, but definitely, oh, I think I have a glass of water already in the living room. I'm definitely feeling hungry now for sure. Oh, my glass is empty though. I will take it, oh god, I will take it and get some more water to watch. Turn the TV on as well, so that's loading up so I can watch some YouTube with my lunch. I literally always watch like a vlog whenever I'm eating like breakfast or lunch generally to be honest. And yeah, I think I'm just going to get some like hummus, pepper, cucumber and pita bread for my lunch today. Yum! I'm definitely going to need to grab some more normal hummus so that one's nearly gone. I've got more in the fridge though so it's all good. There's nothing I love more than starting a fresh new hummus. Like how good does that look? The way the puppies are currently sleeping, I'm being quiet because I don't want to be, oh they're waking up anyway. Bobby's literally got his paw under this bottle. Oh, stop the trip. Oh, he tipped it. It was like he's so carefully balanced. Oh, well, it wasn't the whole thing. It's just a little bit. I'll quickly get that cleaned. Are you ready to come out now, guys? Yeah? Okay, come on then. Good boys. Oh, I'm going to have to clean up a bit of water. I literally looked over and I was like, God, that is carefully so balanced there. But... Yeah, that, that didn't last long. I think I might try and give the dogs a second bath after yesterday. They're still a bit smelly, so I feel like they could do with a second wash. I'll just give them another quick wash down to hopefully try and remove the rest of the smell. If you saw yesterday's vlog, then you'll know what, what the situation was and what happened. But I'm gonna try and do that quickly now. Also doing it while they're like still half asleep and just waking up so that they're not too lively because they really don't like having a bath. I'm currently on Beauty Bay looking at different morph uh, Morphe, is it Morphe or Morph? Morphe, I think it is, palettes, and I haven't tried any of them before. I thought that they'd be really expensive because I've heard that they're really good and everything, but they're really not that bad at all in price. I mean, €27.70 Euros for a 35 different shade palette is so good. I really don't know what to go for, though. I quite like this one, which is the 30, 35T palette, or also... There's this one, the Fall Into Frost palette, which is 35F. And then there was another one, I can't find which one it was now, but there's so many nice, oh, this one's really nice as well. That's more sort of summery, I guess. It has got autumnal colours too. It's 35OS, that one. But yeah, I think I might go for this one here, the Fall Into Frost palette. It's very like autumnal, but then could work for like everyday nudes and neutrals as well. So I just don't know. If you've got one of these palettes, let me know which one you've got and what you would recommend. So I found this one, which is the Morphe 350 palette. And this one seems to be like very popular. And also it's perfect for this time of year. It's got so many oranges and bronzy kind of tones and browns. That is just such a great autumnal palette. But sadly, this one is out of stock. I mean, that's probably because it's so popular. So I might wait for a little bit to order this and see if it comes back into stock anytime soon. More and more shoes keep getting added to the stairs here behind the stair gate because the dogs keep nicking all of them. I'm currently sat trying to read this article that I've got to read before my dance teacher training course this weekend. And there's so many pages of it. Look, like there's all these pages here and each one is like packed 
with words. <laughs> it's very like full on and intense reading this. It's a little bit later on now and I'm just about to get some <coughs> some dinner on. We're having cheese con carne tonight so I've just been prepping everything. Got minced meat here ready to go and then got some tinned tomatoes, kidney beans, well red kidney beans. Got the spicy mix, it's like paprika, cumin and chilli powder. Then I've also got some chilies for my dad because he likes like it to be extra spicy. Don't chop them up though because my mom like hate spice. And then I've also just got some rice in there ready to boil in a bit and yeah I'm sure get on my way and cooking this. Dinner's all ready and it's looking good. I've also got fly buzzing around my head right now which is not great. Bake off is about to start so sorry the dishwasher's on in here so it's kind of noisy but I'm about to get myself my cup of green tea ready to sit and watch it. I think it's caramel week this week as well. I'm pretty sure it is. And that's something they've never done before. So that's quite exciting. I'm quite ex excited to see what they're gonna create with caramel. I've just got myself all ready for bed. Sorry, my hair's still crazy. I haven't got around to straightening it yet. So that's why it is very crazy still. But I'm thinking of probably going to the gym tomorrow morning and then I'll probably end up washing it again at some point over the next couple of days before going to London this weekend. So I thought, I was going to maybe train it today, but then I kind of thought, I'm not really going anywhere much where I like need it to be straight, so I've kind of left it for the moment, but I'm going to get to sleep now, I'm probably just going to watch a vlog in bed or something, and then get to sleep, because I'm starting to feel kind of tired and sleepy now. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to smash the thumbs up if you did, as well as clicking the little red subscribe button down below if you're new. And I will be sure to see you very soon with another vlog. Night!